hello everyone, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to install a Mac OS X mountain lion um, inside a virtual box, box with iatcos. So let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to check, just to check that your system is actually compatible with this, um, is go down to your um, computer um, um, specifications, just type in system in the um, start menu, and you're going to want to make sure that um, yours is running a 64-bit operating system, um, but, uh, otherwise you can't actually install Mountain Lion, you have to install an older version. Um, you're going to want to have at least um, four physical um, gigabytes of RAM, um, and then that is pretty much it. Oh, and a little bit spare in your hard drive and at least a dual-core processor. And the last thing is you're going to want to check that your processor is actually an Intel processor rather than an AMD, otherwise this, this won't be um, compatible. Okay, and then the only other thing you're going to need to do this is a dual layer um, DVD or CD. Um, I got these ones here because um, they can um, take up to 8.5 gigabytes, whereas a normal DVD drive, a normal DVD, sorry, is only going to store up to four gigs. And because the file that we're installing is five, it needs to be bigger. Um, then the only other thing you're going to need is, of course, a laptop or PC that you want to install on. And I'd recommend just having another. Um, computer or just uh, another device nearby so you can watch this tutorial on so you don't have to keep on opening it up and going back and forth. Okay so the next thing we need to do is with that dual layer disc just pop that into 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 a computer that has a DVD drive and what you're going to want to do is and um, with the link that's going to be down in the description or you can you can find it yourself just by googling it it's the iatcos ml2 and it's a dmg file this is essentially the mac os operating system um, and you're what you're going to want to do with that is literally, when you've downloaded it, which could take a while, it's, it's a big file, literally just drop and drag that, um, the DMG file, um, straight onto your um, the DVD drive, um, so you have that on there. It'll probably take a reasonable amount of time, as it is a big file, so yeah, um, make sure you do that, and then we've got pretty much what we need to start going straight into um, the rest of the setup. Okay, the next thing we need to do is head over onto virtualbox.org and you can download um, the VirtualBox file. Um, all these descriptions will be down below. You'll also need to download the extension pack um, that I'm showing here if you are planning on using like a USB drive when you're actually running the virtual machine. Um, so yeah, go ahead and download that. Then, once you've downloaded that, open it right up and we're going to start making our um, new virtual machine. As you can see, I've already got a few here um, that I've made before, but we're going to go ahead and click on that new button. And we're just going to go ahead and name it Mac OS X Demo. And then leave the first thing as the default, but then for the version, change that to the 64-bit. And just click Next. Okay, the next thing we're going to have to adjust is by default it only gives your virtual machine 2 gig of RAM. But if your computer has 4 gigs or more, I would definitely, um, sorry, um, 8 gigs or more, I would definitely recommend upping that to 4. If not, if your physical computer only has 4 gigabytes, then I would um, recommend keeping it as a default of 2 gig. So essentially, um, I would do about half of your of your um, actual um RAM and and as soon as you um turn back off the virtual um, machine, it will be go it will go straight back to your actual physical um computer. So there's no need to worry about that. It's just literally allocated while um the virtual machine is on. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create the virtual hard drive. We're going to keep it as the VDI. No need to change the default there. And again, keep it as dynamically allocated. This is where you can choose the size that you actually want your virtual hard drive to be, depending on how much you're actually going to use um, the virtual machine and how many um, applications you're going to install, then you can change this accordingly. I'm just going to keep it as the default of 20 gigabytes. That'll be plenty for me. So now we've created that, essentially um, the machine has been created, but there are a few other things we need to tweak before we go ahead and install the operating system onto it. So we're going to go ahead and hit this um, orange setting the button up here, go down to system and then uncheck the box that says enable EFI as um, I don't think it's supported so there's no need to get it on otherwise it will just confuse the machine. Okay and then the only other thing we need to do is head over on to the storage tab and this is where we're going to choose where basically um, it'll boot from its first time. 
Um, so what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on that CD icon that says empty at the moment and then just press on this little um, icon on the right and then choose, press that choose a virtual hard drive and then go on to, um, yeah just go on to, that's the, that's the wrong one, that's the one that's actually on my physical hard drive, you need to go on to the, um, onto the one that's on the DVD and sorry that's on the dvd and choose that one so yeah like i said that is what it's actually going to boot from the first time we boot this up okay so that's all you need to do on that and then the next step will be going on to actually starting up this machine okay so now here's the sort of more exciting bit we're going to go ahead and click that green start arrow and this will start up your new virtual machine and hopefully we'll go through the install process of Mac OS. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger for you so you guys can see. Um, it does take a few minutes, um, so so don't worry if it takes if it takes a while. Um, it will go to this sort of blank page, and then we'll get a grey page with a sort of little loading um, wheel. Like I said, this is going to depend on how long or how like how fast your um, computer is. So yeah, and then I'll guide you through the sort of install settings and everything like that. Now we've, after that little loading screen, we are asked to choose our language. So obviously for me, it's going to be English, but there are a few other options if you want. Um, now, as you can see, it's not full screen yet, but I'm going to put that in another video. Otherwise, this video is going to be too long um, on how to sort out the resolution and everything. Okay, so um, here's a setup. So we've got this far, which is pretty good. Um, we're just going to press the continue button for this and agree to all those, the usual terms and conditions and everything like that. Now as you can see it says where do you want to install the disk to and uh, it doesn't give us any options at all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this utilities tab up here and choose disk utilities and this is just going to open up this for us and then what you're going to want to do is click on your um, that, that virtual hard drive that you made for your machine and what we need to do is actually um, erase what's on there as um, when you install macOS it likes it to be completely clean um, it's not going to wipe anything well it will wipe stuff off it but there's not actually anything on there as it is one we already created so it's, it's, it's blank it just likes us to do it as a, as a step so if you just go um, up to that erase tab and then just you can um, rename it if you want that's, that's what it will be called when you're actually on your virtual machine um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just yeah I'm just gonna call it hard drive um, and then we will just erase um, stuff off there even though there actually isn't anything on it and I think it just formats it in all this um, and partitions and all that stuff like that okay so as you can see now um, we have got an option of where to install the IACOS um, essentially the, the operating system um, so once you click on that you're before you um, press install, you're going to want to go down to this customize button in the bottom left. And this is what um, IACOS enables us to do um, that you wouldn't normally get this option on the normal Mac OS. Um, and so what you need to do is go over to the bootloader options and choose graphics graphics mode, sorry, and then choose um, the applicable um, resolution for you. This won't immediately sort out um, the resolution um, but um, for the sort of last step that I'll do in a separate video this needs to be changed for that. So for me um, mine is 1366 by 768 but um, which quite a few sort of older laptops will be but there's also the option for um, full 1080p there as well so yeah just go ahead and choose um, the correct one for your machine. Then we're going to go ahead and click OK and then here is the exciting bit, we're going to go ahead and install and it's going to start installing the operating system to our virtual hard drive so the next time we boot up we don't have to boot up from the CG drive. This will take, um, well for me it says about 14-15 minutes but it's going to depend um, so I'll catch up with you guys when it's sort of nearer the end and then I'll talk you through the next few steps. Okay guys, so as you can see I've rejoined the video um, with the in-store saying less than a minute remaining. So then in a minute I'll guide you through the rest of it and don't forget I'm going to do a separate video on how to sort out the resolution, so how to make it properly um, um, full screen. 
Okay, so I think, here we go. So now it says the installation is complete um, and you'll get this. And what you want to do, rather than actually pressing that restart button, you're going to want to just um, literally um, close down and power off the machine by just going machine reset or literally you can just do the cross at the side. Then you'll get this. Then literally all you need to do, restart the machine again by pressing that green arrow button. And what you're going to want to do quickly before it boots up is right click on that CD icon down in the right hand corner and press remove disk from the virtual hard drive. Okay. So now that's been removed, we literally just need to um, close it down again for the last time. It's quite a lot of opening and closing. Um, so yeah, power that off again. And then for the final time, we're going to restart it. So, well, just, yes, just start it up. And now this time, rather than saying it's booting from the, from the CD, from the DVD drive, it should say booting from hard drive. There we go. So that's a really good sign. And now... They'll, you'll get this loading screen for a minute or two again and then we should be greeted with all the rest of the setup. Yep, as you can see here, um, that's taken a few minutes. Now we just need to go through the general setup of, um, of your new Mac, if you want to call it that. Um, so for me, I'm going to choose United Kingdom, obviously, but just choose your applicable country. I think you can press show all if you're from somewhere else. Um, British keyboard, but I think if you press show, there will be other options. I don't need to transfer any information for now. I'm going to keep um, location services off because, yeah, not going to bother with those. You can always um, turn those back on later. And I'm going to skip the Apple ID just for now. But if you do want to sign in with your Apple ID, then you can by any means or even make a new one. Then we're just going to need to agree and continue with all the usual um um, terms and conditions. Then we're going to create the computer account. So this isn't the Apple ID. This is just the general um, name we're going to give to um, to the computer. And as you can see here, I literally can't even spell my own YouTube um, username. Um, so yeah, if you just you can just um, make your account name, and that will be um, what it will sort of that yeah like your user you know like um, so and so's computer um, for example. Um, you, c you do need to also put a password, um, that will be your sort of um, admin password and your password to um, log on to, um, to, to your PC, or oh, Mac even actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop in the password and then yeah, and you can tick the box whether you want it when you're logging on or not. And you also um, have to leave a hint. Um, I just put not applicable because <laughs> I remembered the password. Um, so yeah, just go in and put, fill in that. And it will be creating our account. And then we're going to go ahead and choose your time zone just by hovering over it. So I've just shown, I don't know why it went to Glasgow. I'm nowhere near Glasgow, but there we go. Um, I'm going to not bother registering um, the device. And then there we go. Setup is complete and we can press that big blue button that says start using your Mac. Quite exciting. And here we go. We have booted into Mountain Lion um, Mac OS. So yeah, um, um, everything seems to be working. We've got the finder, we've got all the applications. Um, so hopefully that video really helped all of you guys out. Um, for any of you that were wondering how to do this um, it's definitely um, quite a sort of fun, fun thing to do and also if you just yeah want to have a go playing around with the Mac operating system as I said there are a few um, other little settings that you need to change like um, obviously change the resolution so it is full size and also there's something you need to do with an application called MultiBeast that enables um, the sound um, so yeah, I'm going to put those in separate videos because as you can see, this video is already very long as it is. So hopefully you guys um, enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. If you have any questions, which um, you, you might well do, then feel free to leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. So yeah, and don't forget to subscribe for those extra videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye!